Uh, this is going to be a short little video that goes over the uh, personal expression project for this grading period. And this is called over the CD. I'm just in the um, graphic design under modules. And now you have under the personal expression, the CD cover front. You know, well, it will be a major grade in this class. And you can click on this assignment there. <clears throat> and it talks about, uh, you have some basic requirements. This uh, Google document goes over the requirements for the front, back, and the label, but I'm just talking about the front right now. Um, so again, you're going to just have a CD cover front, right? And it's 12 by 12, which is actually this 864 pixels by, so it's looking square. And uh, the resolution is 300 there. Background is transparent. Uh, but all the stuff is, you know, I mean, it's not super important to have all that stuff. But the main thing that it's definitely required for the front cover is that you need to have six different layers right here. That's the super important um, requirement for this uh, front cover. Okay. And so what you're doing, there's no template here because this is a personal expression project. So basically you would go to um, Photoshop here and you start a new project. Okay, and you of course you name it T. So I click on create new and I've just changed it to 12 by 12. So this might say like uh, 8.5 or something like that, but you want to change it to 12, 12 here. And you want to change the height to 12. It might say like 11 or something, but you just want to change it to 12. So 12 by 12, and we're going to name it like C front. Um, as long as you know what it needs to be named, you don't have to name it the exact thing, but you have to turn into the correct assignment there. You have to turn this into it. There's a CD front assignment, the CD back, and the CD label. And you have to turn the front to the front and back, you know, those, so forth. Um, I would probably, uh, the background contents would be transparent, like I said. You have to call it transparent. So you can click create. It's going to be the blank square here. And like I talked about, the main thing on this is that you need six different layers. I'm going to go back to Chrome and show you this. So this is a link to uh, different examples here. And I can just click on uh, this view here. So you can see, like, um, basically, you're wanting to, a lot of time in graphic design, you have, like, uh, different series of different things that all have to fit together, you know? And this is an example of one of those. So... These are all part of your album cover design. The front, back, and the label have to all tie together somehow. And so you can see, like, uh, for instance, like, they chose this one, The Force Awakens kind of thing. But then they chose the back. Uh, that's the CD label. But this is the back cover. So it kind of goes along with that kind of idea. And then you have the list of songs. But I'm just referring to this because this is more dealing with the front cover. But they all three need to have like a common theme, like this uh, the um, nice guy in the background here as it ties it together. But again, um, you can actually look at all these, and these all have different six different layers here, and uh, you can actually use different things like a gradient to the backgrounds. We talked about different images, text, and stuff like that. You know, the all uh, or like for this one right here. They used, they found the Ceramai kind of logo. They added this own um, text there. And then there's, there's a few different like smoke, like maybe this is a layer and this is a layer and so that. So they actually had copied a few times to make all that smoke. Okay, so that's one way. So um, that's pretty much it for the front cover. So as long as you make your uh, 12 by 12 grid and you have six different layers here, and you have something that ties all three of your front, back, and the label together. And then you can actually then say, if I'm finished, I'll make sure and like, like we've always done, like save it as, right? And we're gonna save it as JPEG, okay? And, you know, save it where you want to. I just put in downloads and say, okay. And I can go back to Canvas and then I can turn that submit assignment. And I can choose my upload and choose and I just named that CD front. So that's the reason why it's helpful to name it because you won't get confused, which some people have done, okay? So now I can click on open here 
and it's open. I can click submit assignment. I've got my CD project done. Okay, and then we'll finish that assignment. Okay.